guys welcome to my channel welcome to my makeup room and in today's video i'm going to share with you some basic things you should know to you know fight with your hair problems and now i'm not going to give you any particular solution to any particular hair problem but i'm going to tell you the basics because i have a lot of hair problem and i can't find any solution till now now the reason behind making this video is one of my friend debulina she suggested me to create a, a hair care video but i'm so sorry because i don't know anything proper about hair care so in today's video i'm not going to give you any product recommendation or any tips or anything but i'm gonna guide you the way through which you can get your hair problem solutions okay so yeah if you are interested in then please keep on watching and anyway i will highly request you to watch this video because uh, i don't think that any of beauty bloggers made such kind of video till now so yeah if you find this video helpful then also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and without any more blabbering let's get started in today's video i'm going to give you five tips that can help you to find your solution of your hair problem okay so here tip number one that is having a healthy diet now diet is a very important thing to maintain healthy hair because everything starts with you know your internal things okay so have good foods i have proteins in your diet have fatty acids in your diet because that's going to really make your hair look healthy like eggs and uh, you know spinach all those green vitamin a all those veggies uh, vitamin a vitamin c these things are just you know really helps to make your hair look shiny and healthy and also it makes your hair really strong and also have good amount of fatty acids from fish like you know salmon fish and other marine fish they have their omega-3 fatty acids oil which really 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 helps in makes your hair look beautiful and smooth and strong and thick and whatnot and also have enough amount of water in daily basis to maintain your hair so yeah good diet is a must a thing but hey i am a very 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 you know junk food junkie i just can't stop eating junk food so i have faced a lot of hair problems but if you can control then you should do it because junk food is not so good for your hair tip number two is to know your scalp type and your hair type what your scalp type is it doesn't mean that your hair type will be the same okay just like mine i have oily scalp and dry frizzy and disgusting type of hair and this combination is honestly deadly combination because i just can't oil my hair i mean i just can't oil my scalp but my hair needs oil and if you have oily scalp then do not put oil to your scalp because that can make your scalp really oily which can you know weaken the roots of your hair that can really cause a hair fall so yeah first just know your scalp type and your hair type and then treat your hair in that way so if you have oily scalp and dry hair you can always use a hair mask in a replacement of a hair oil and if you have a dry scalp and oily hair you can do the same or you can only oil your scalp but if you have oily scalp oily hair or dry scalp and dry hair honey you are blessed and you should be thankful to god so now tip number three is to you know just before just rushing into different types of product just sit down and relax chill and think about your hair problems and you know write it down all those problems in a notebook in your notebook and then find your solution okay let me just take myself as an example i have lots of hair problems like i have frizzy hair which is you know really unmanageable i have dandruff i have hair fall and 
and and and and and I have dandruff, I have hair fall, I have uh, this, that and, and okay whatever I have a lot of hair problems that's the main thing and again the scalp is really oily and really greasy so I have all this type of hair problems so when you really know your hair problems it becomes easier to find the solution so yeah just let yourself know your hair problem first and then find a solution tip number four which is you know really connected with tip number three that is target one problem with one product at a time like uh, you know don't go for a shampoo that uh, says or that claims that you will reduce your hair fall fights with dandruff this and that like you know five problem one solution no don't go for those products just target one solution or one problem with just one product take an example okay i have really frizzy and unmanageable hair and i have really dry and rough hair but my roughness is almost like gone so yes i win here and the reason behind this is i don't go for multiple products that just claims that multiple things so yeah if you have frizzy hair if you have really rough hair just get yourself a nice a very smooth conditioner that can really nourish your hair that can really condition your hair and makes your hair smooth and supple and all those good things okay um, i have one suggestion here because i have tried so many conditioner in my life but i've never came across with that one conditioner that is amoy satinic conditioner i don't know the full name but i will insert a picture in the screen so that you can get it but that conditioner omg i've never ever seen such an amazing conditioner in my life ever i have tried so many conditioner and i regret it later that why i you know stop using that so i have a conditioner in my bathroom right here but once that will get finished I will, I will, I will repurchase the satinic one because that was amazing. If you have really dry hair, frizzy hair, or if you have problems of you know unmanageable hair, try that Amoy satinic one and thank me later. Now I have a lot of you know hair fall problems, so I'm using currently a hair oil that can fight with you know that hair fall problems. I have a shampoo which fights with the dandruff, so that's my point. If you have lots of hair problem, just write it down and use one product for one problem and that will be more effective, I feel, I feel that way. And the last tip, that is tip number five, is acceptance. Yes, acceptance because nothing can make you happy when you accept the way you are. To be honest, not everybody is born with, you know, thicker, fuller and those supremely healthy hair. Somebody has thin hair by birth and if you have thin hair by birth, you just can't do anything with it. If you have, you know, less hair in your head, it's, it's not your problem. It's your genetic. If you belong from a family that has no history of having a long, thick, beautiful, healthy hair, then don't expect your hair to be because, hey, you are your family product, not something else so yeah that's the thing and again there is a lot of disease that cause hair problems a hair fall like you know vaginal infections uterus infections a severe type of pcod's and hormonal imbalance and the most common hormonal imbalance that cause hair fall is obviously thyroid so again if you have any of those diseases you will face a lot of hair fall so that's that's pretty normal you have to accept it and even 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 if you're having drugs for a long period of time no matter for what problem then you may face a lot of hair falls because uh, every drug has their own side effects and maximum time it affects your hair okay so if you are having drugs for a long 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 time then you will face a lot of hair problems so yeah hair acceptance is the main thing you should keep it in your mind <sighs> because the more you will accept the more you will be happy so yeah just accept more and be happier than ever before wow
I make a poem. Accept more and be happier than ever before. And that's true. That's true. When you and also when you get into a routine, just don't stop the routine after you know maintain the routine just one week or two week. Continue the routine for at least two months because hair is not a thing that going to show you instant results. Give your routine some time, trust the process and uh, I hope you will surely find a way to fight with all of your problems. So yeah, with this I've finished this video. I hope this video is helpful for you. If it helped you in some way then just give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know if I missed any of those, you know, basic points so that I can include those points maybe in my next videos. And also, let me know if you want to see more such videos in the comments below. Do share this video with your friends who have faced a lot of hair problems and don't know what to get a solution and just rush into products share this video with them and also do subscribe to my channel for more such beautiful videos i will see you in my next videos till then stay beautiful and keep spreading love